I'm very confused. I feel very conflicted in how I'm actually feeling. It's the reality, because I'll, I'll always love him. I don't think I'll ever love anyone the way I loved him, but I know it's sad. <laughs> don't say that to me. It... Don't say that. You will. Of course you will. You'll love someone else. Mm. You'll love someone more than you love Dan. I don't you know if down. I will. I don't know if I will, but... <laughs> I don't know if I will, honestly, like, I don't... I've, I've never... The love that I had for him, I've, I don't... I've obviously never had since, and I don't know if I'll ever get that again, but... I don't have that same love for him anymore, and that's what's annoying, cos I f***ing wish I could, like... If you could slap me around the head and go, love him again, like that, I f***ing wish I could. Because I just think, like, what we went through, is it worth throwing it all away, but... That, it's the reality, like, it, it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to get back with her, then. What do you think? Well, I don't know. What do you, do you, but do you honestly think that? I don't think that you would get back with her, but when you're sitting on the phone for however long, like, it's a little bit odd. But... Especially when it's been a year down the line. Like, how many times are you going to go over it? You might as well just get back together and give it another go. You think so? Well, yeah. No, like... But if that's that what you did yeah, want to do, know, then I'll I just will... go. It's Listen fine. to me, I'm telling you now, that is not what I want to do. That is not what's going to happen. So what do you want so to do? So don't worry about it. I'm not worried. How do you feel about men? You. I've told you. I like you more than I thought I would. And I'm enjoying spending time with you. And I hope that carries on. Mm. Does that mean that you don't talk to anyone else? Yeah. So it does mean that. got no girls that you're talking to? No. I feel like we're at a stage where I don't really want to talk to anyone else right now. Mm. That's how I feel about it. It's... What? Well, I'm not talking to no one else. OK, so does that mean that we're just me for you, you for me? Yeah. OK. I better delete all my numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't feel like I've met my match here. So if someone else came along, what would happen? No, look, we had a chat and I just said, look, I'm not talking to anyone else. You're not talking to anyone else either? No. So it might as well be exclusive. Yeah, that's exclusive. That sounds pretty exclusive to me, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're exclusive? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we're not spending every day with each other. That's exactly. true. Not every yeah, day together. It, it ain't been every day. Well, where was you last night? <laughs> <laughs> um, where was you last night? Yeah, I was... I was Around with Ella's house, house. <laughs> yeah, OK. Oh. All right. Dan's actually apparently exclusive now with Ella. I see Joe and Harry, and they told me that they've been going full head with it, apparently. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm happy for him, like, I genuinely am. I think this year has been a very crazy year and I've always said I want him to be happy. I couldn't bring him that happiness. I didn't want to be back with him. It's very difficult to sometimes understand what your emotions mean. Yeah. And I think because I get sad about stuff... It's like there's confu... It's like a grey area, but My there brain's isn't like, grey. why are you upset because you're not going to be with him? And I'm just like, I don't know why I'm upset, but now I understand why, why I'm upset, because it's OK to be upset about things that you thought you've healed from, mm -hmm. because healing isn't, like, a straight line. It's mm -hmm. just... It's... You go in whatever motion you need to go in, and I think him being with Ella has not made me think... ..like, panic mode. Mm. So, obviously, the dog is the only thing that's keeping us together, yeah. which is really bloody annoying. It's not normal for you to be broken up with your boyfriend for a year and still be having to share a dog, because in reality, you'd cut contact and you never speak, but we still got each other's numbers, we still speak about the dog, like... Realistically, dog. At, at some point, one of us has to have the dog, but I'm not ready to make that decision yet, and I don't want to take the dog from Dan, and I genuinely don't think Dan would want to stop Oliver seeing me. But in the same sense, I don't think it's normal for us to see each other and be around one another and... even be in the same country as one another <laughs> at, at times, so... Yeah.